Spiritually free from what? The sorcery that America has us under. The sorcery. It's witchcraft that they put upon our people here in America. Witchcraft, right? All right. Give me what you got. Go ahead. Matthew 26 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. Now when Yeshua was in Beth Bethany in the house of Simeon the leper, there came unto the him... The leper. Leper. There came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. Mm -hmm. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. Verse 10. When Yeshua understood it, he said unto them, Why ye trouble the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye, for ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. Mm -hmm. For in... For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Mm -hmm. Verily I say unto you, whosoever the gospel, this, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in this whole world, there shall also this, that this woman hath done, be told for a memorial of her. So, like every time we before we start, we always bring out this this uh, memorial to this woman. Anytime this word come out, this has, that has to come out. All right, so Haven, read what you got. Open rebuke is better than secret love. What does that mean? Open, Open rebuke is better than secret love. Anybody? Um, what do you mean? Uh, she gives him a chance to answer it. Um, mm -hmm. Than a secret love. Open rebuke. What is rebuke? Correction. Mm -hmm. So what put it all together? Secret love. What is secret love? Secret love. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Not. Mm -hmm. That sounds like. Would you, I, I don't know. All right. Go to six. Reverse six. Faithful are the wounds, wounds. wounds of a friend, mm -hmm. but the kisses of an enemy are de deceitful. De deceitful. That goes a little bit further, but still explaining the same thing. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds. What is the wounds? What is the wounds? Bruises. Bruises cuts. Of a friend, right? For instance, when you get a beaten by your parents. Are they trying to really hurt you? Or are they trying to correct you? They're trying to correct you. So basically, it's the same thing. Faithful rooms of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. If we don't rebuke you or correct you when you're doing wrong, that's being deceitful because now you're going to think nothing that you're doing is wrong, right? So you're going to continue with that bad habit, right? Mm. So that's going to send you where? Hell. Straight to hell. The Bible says, Correct a child, it will not kill him, but only save his soul from hell. Right? All right. Uh, go to seven. The full soul loweth and honeycomb, but to the hungry soul every bitter thing is sweet. Mm, keep going. As a bird that wandered, wandered from her, her nest, so is a man that wandered. From his place. So it was a man that wandered from his place. His place is keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. Keep going. Ointment. Ointment and perfume mm -hmm. rejoice the heart, so doth the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty, hearty counsel. counsel. So that's what we're supposed to do. When you see your children or a friend, Following, you're supposed to do what? Correct. Give them counsel or correction, right? Mm -hmm. Keep going, verse 10. Thine own friend and thy father's friend forsake not. Neither go unto my brother's house in the day of any... Abai. Abai. Calamity. Calamity. For better is a neighbor that is near than a brother... Far off. All right, keep going. My son, be wise and make my heart glad that I may answer him that 
Reproach. Reproach me. All right. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are perished. A prudent man foreseeth the evil, right? If you have knowledge and wisdom, you're going to see the evil when it's coming. But it says a simple man does what? Pass on and are punished. They keep they 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 don't see the 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 uh the evil coming. A wise man can see the evil coming. He know what to do. He gets he gets away from it, right? All right, give me what you got, Caitlin. Jeremiah Read it loud. We can't hear you. Jeremiah two thirty three. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek life? So stop. It says, why trimmest thy way? Now that goes off what we just read in Proverbs 27, 5. Open rebuke is better than secret love. So why trimmest thy ways to seek love? Why are you going to change your ways to get approval of men or of anybody in this world? You know that you're supposed to be keeping friends, but you have people picking at you, right? You know that you're supposed to eat, uh, not supposed to eat pork. But you have the world scoffing at you. So you're going to say, okay, for me to fit in with the world, I'm going to forsake God's laws, right? I'm not going to wear a dress. I'm going to wear pants. I'm not going to wear fringes. I'm going to wear, I'm going to look like the rest of the world, even though the Bible tells us that we are supposed to be set apart. So why trim of thy ways to seek love? Keep going. Therefore, hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways? Taught the wicked ones thy ways. You learn in the wicked ones ways. All right, keep going. Also in my skirts is found the blood of the souls of the poor, mm. innocents. I have found it by secret search, but upon all these. Yet thou sayest, because I am innocent, surely his anger shall turn from me. Mm. Behold, I will plead with thee, because thou sayest, I have not sinned. Why gaddest thou about so much to change thy way? Thou also shalt be ashamed of Egypt, as thou was ashamed of Assyria. Mm -hmm. Yea, thou shalt go forth from him, and thine hands upon thine head, for the Lord hath rejected thy confidences. The Lord has did what? Rejected thy confidences. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt not prosper in them. Mm. So you shall not, when you change your ways, when you follow the Most High God, and you change your ways seeking the love of the world, you shall not prosper in that thing. Right? All right, Shai, what you got? And the great now, nah. uh, let me see. Uh, I don't know how that goes. All right, just read it anyway. And the great dragon was cast out, and the old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. All right. All right, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. Key word, the whole world. He didn't just deceive Israel. Remember the scripture in the Bible that says, uh, surely our fathers have inherited lies. So he not only deceived our people, he deceived the Gentiles and the other nations also. How he deceived them? By giving them C.J. Borgia. Or the so-called white, white Hamas, the white Jesus, by letting them think that they are the real Jews. Surely their fathers have inherited lies. They've been lied to just like we've been lied to, right? Mm. All right, keep going. Oh, me? No, 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 stop. You go. Revelation twelve fifteen. So how did he deceive the whole world? Somebody give me, uh, what's that scripture? Hold on, hold we at? Somebody give me Ephesians, no, Colossians 2 and 8. All right, you read what you got. Revelations 12 and chapter, chapter 12 and verse 15. Mm -hmm. And the serpent cast out his mouth water. Stop. Out. Remember, we have the spirit, spiritual water, right? Which is the spirit for the most high God. But that serpent also have water, right? Which is this uh, disinformation. Read what you got. And the serpent cast out his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Stop. That he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Read what you got. 
Colossians 2 and 8. Mm -hmm. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Stop. So the water that the serpent cast out of the mouth was what? Philosophy. Let's keep going. And vain deceit. And vain deceit. Right? Which is what? Give me an example of the philosophies, one of the philosophies that the servant cast out of his mouth. Um, you don't know? Baptist, uh, Christianity. Baptist. Hmm? Christianity. Christianity. Right? What else? Another religion? Christmas. Hmm? Christmas. What else? Halloween. Witness. I don't know. Eastern Buddha. Keep going. Seventh day Adventist. So those are what? Religions. Different religions, right? Mm. Just religion, Adventist. All of them are religions. So, religions. so those are the things that uh uh the serpent. Or the enemy, or the devil, um, that was what cast out of his mouth. This information, he deceived not only Israel, but he deceived the whole world, right? Oh, also that we weren't to change to change our national our identity, mm -hmm. and and have others grow up with the stolen identity of the nation. Exactly. Somebody give me Ephesians 4 and 14. Matthew 37. Matthew. Matthew. You give me Genesis 7 15. Wait, that one's right again. We got Ephesians. Matthew. All right, bring it up. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 14. Mm hmm. Verse 14, verse 14, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro. Stop. Tossed to and fro. Remember, it will carry the away of the flood, but we will be what? No, read it one, one, one scripture, one verse above that. Verse 13, till we, till we all come in the iniquity of faith, mm -hmm. of the faith, and the knowledge of the Son of God, mm -hmm. unto a perfect man, unto the... Measure of the of the stature mm -hmm. of the fullness of Christ, mm. that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro. Stop. No more children being tossed to and fro. Keep going. And carried about with every, with every wind with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men. Wind of doctrine by the slight of men. That's your Christianity. That's your Buddhism. That's your Islam. Toss to and fro. Some people being Christianity, then they'll jump to Islam, then they'll jump to all these different. Like you being tossed to and fro. That being that's being washed. That's being carried away of the flood that the uh, serpents that the serpent put out that we we just read, right? You being washed away. You being confused. You being deceived because God did not give us religion. He gave us what? Laws. He gave us laws. Laws and statutes. Laws, statutes, and commandments. Right? Mm -hmm. Somebody give me Psalms. What's that? 111 and 10. What's honey supposed to read? Matthew what? Who? Honey. Oh, Matthew 24, 37. 24, 37. I think I remember what Psalms 10 11 says. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, you're going to give me Genesis 7, 15. I got it. All right. Kayla, you're going to give me John 15, 3. You got it, Shelly? Mine doesn't know it. What was it? 11, 10. Yeah, 1, 11, 10. The seer, Go ahead. Um, the seer of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Mm. A good understanding have they that do the, his commandments. So the only way that you're going to be able to understand these commandments and these parables that's in this Bible is by doing the commandments, right? That's why, that's why I hate to beat on the Christian church, but that's why 
people in the church just can't get it. That's why they believe that God laws is done away with. That's why they think that God loves everybody. That's why they say, come as you are, and he will still love you, because they're not keeping no commandments. That's why they don't have no understanding. Understanding. For the first for the first, for the, the first thing is, all right, if your Sabbath is, let's just say the Sabbath is Sunday. In the Sabbath, no buying, no selling, no cooking, no cleaning. What they do after church on Sunday? Go eat. Go eat. Go cook a big Sunday dinner, right? Yeah. So they're not keeping the Sabbath. They don't have an understanding. They know what the Sabbath is, but they don't understand what it consists of. No cooking, no cleaning, no buying, no selling, right? No working. All right? All right? Give me what you got, honey. But as the days of... Noah. Noah. Mm -hmm. Where so shall also the coming 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 of mm -hmm. the son of man be. Mm -hmm. Keep going. For as the for as in the days that were before the flood. All right, there got that word again. Flood. Remember, the Bible is a parable, right? It really has a double double meaning, right? Remember the days before the flood. Keep going. They were eating, 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 and drinking. Drinking, marrying, marrying, and giving, giving, and marriage, marriage, marriage. until, until the day that Noah entered, entered into the ark. All right, let's break that down. As the days of Noah were, so so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that they were before the flood were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Same thing that's going on today, right? What's the day? Saturday night? We go down Ybor City, 7th Avenue. What are we going to see? whole bunch of... Uh... Eating and drinking and being merry and just having a good old time without God nowhere in their mind, right? They're just out to have a good time, right? Yeah. All right. Go ahead, get the precept. Genesis 7 15. And they went into, into Noah into the ark. Two and two of all flesh were in. The breeze, the breath, the breath of life, and they that went in went in male and female of all flesh, as the Most High, the Most High had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. Stop. So that's another parable. They went in. They went in, and the Most High. Once you come into the truth, the Most High shuts you in or separates you from the world. Right. All right, so I'm going to go back to Matthew 24, 39. And knew thou until the flood came and took them all away. 24. And took them. What does that word took mean? It's like it's like and knew not. Now we jump back to Matthew 24, 39. And it says, and knew, they knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the, the coming of the Son of Man be. What does that word took mean? He killed them? Killed. Oh, yeah. You like that before. Killed. Nobody, like, tonight, everybody's going to be in Ebor City on Sabbath Avenue. If the Most High was to crack that sky, all of them going to be taken away. Right? I think that Christian church. They talking about rapture. They, take, they, they make you think that taking is a good thing. Yeah. Don't be the first taken. <laughs> we're gonna be taken and right. Yeah, we're gonna be they gonna, they, and they're they not lying. They're gonna be taken because they're not keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments, right? Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, let's bring it out. Matthew, somebody give me Matthew 5 and start at uh 11. No, start at 15. 
Matthew 5 and 15. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have it too. Mm-hmm. That's not five. Mm-hmm. All right, I got it. Mm-hmm. Now let's try to bring it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one, more, one more page. Matthew, go to chapter five. Go to verse 12. I thought you said 15. I said 15. 15. No, jump to 18, 18, sloppy. For, for very, I said unto you, mm-hmm. till heaven and earth pass, mm-hmm. one jot or one tittle shall no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, mm. And shall teach men so he shall be called the least in the kingdom. So he shall be called the least in the kingdom, which means what? He ain't gonna make it to the kingdom. So these churches are teaching our people. Remember that scripture said, if you break the least commandment, what is the least commandment? Yeah. Give me an example. Why are you friends? That's the least commandment. You? Now you poor. Sean. What's the least commandment? Uh like a lot of people say that don't kill, don't yeah, let's go. Give me a small commandment, something that people just overlook. Uh, uh, you don't know, honey. Uh, hey, what did hmm? you say again? A least commandment. What is a least commandment? Like a small commandment. Wearing. Uh, yeah, true, true. All right, Haven. You shall not commit adultery. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Where that come from? <laughs> hey, it's <laughs> one of the commandments. <laughs> That's my girl. All right, you got one then? Um, I got another one too. I give up. Go ahead. Who? I had that. No, that's in the top that's ten. That's the top ten. Yeah. That's top ten. Back in the day, that got you put to death. Yeah. All right, I got one. Uh, women wearing pants. Beards. Man having beard. a beard. Tattoos. Right? Uh, what that says about no tattoos. Where is it? Yeah, where is it? Is it Joe? Where is that? Remember, prove all things. If you if you see somebody with a tattoo, you supposed to tell them age. Hey, Brother or sister, you're not supposed to have tattoos on you. They said, How who told you that? How you know? How would you remember the Bible say be able to show them? Right? Mm-hmm. Because if you just talk and you just tell them that, even though you're saying this in the Bible, they ain't gonna say, Well, where does that? So you have to be able to prove it, prove all things, right? Mm-hmm. So where is that in the Bible? I thought it was Job or Psalms. Leviticus Ooh. 19. We start at 27. That's when you eat the beard and everything. It says, Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, Mm -hmm. neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Mm -hmm. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. That's when they they having them prayers and and rest in peace, grandma. No, you ain't supposed to do that. Keep going. Nor print any marks upon you. No print any marks upon you. No tattoos. There it is. Leviticus. When I, when I was 16, a lot of my friends were getting them, and I want, wanted one that something keep telling me not to do it. Yeah. Something. I don't know yeah. what it was, but mm-hmm. I'm glad I never did. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no problem with getting earrings, right? Wait, what? Yeah, a man don't have an no earring. You know what the earring signified? Huh? No. In Egypt. When the man had earrings on that, he was a slave. They put earrings in you. I ain't knocking out of that. See, just because we, we did things that don't make it right, you know what I'm saying? We, we took things from we our captivities. Our yeah. We took things just from like every you know. captivity. Mm-hmm. No, no. We had gold now. Huh. Yeah. But earrings, nah. That's for women. A man with an earring meant you was a slave in Egypt. That's mm-hmm. what that meant. 
All right. Somebody give me Galatians one and ten. So you still want an earring in your ear? Yeah, you still want one. Mm. You still want the earring? Still be wild. I can get it. <laughs> Come out of her, my people. Mm. How long will you? Simple ones love simplicity. Yeah. What is that? We went over that last night. How long will you simple? 20. There you go. That's, That's my boy. So easy. Galatians. All right, Galatians one ten. You got it. Bring it out. For do I now persuade men or God? Mm. Or do I seek to please men? Stop. Mm. Read that again. Mm -hmm. For do I now persuade men or God? Mm -hmm. Or do I seek to please men? So why are you getting the earring? Mm -mm -mm. It was. It looked cool. That's my only phrase. It looks cool. All right, keep going. For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Mm. But, if I, mm -hmm. but I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. Mm. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Yeshua. That's right. So this spirit that we have on us that everybody's not to have the privilege of privilege to be woken, it is it did not come of man. Mm. Even though men teach it, the spirit of the most high God opens your eyes. To it, right? Because the Most High God put the spirit of deep sleep on my people. What that said? Give me Isaiah chapter twenty-nine. Yeah, I'll pick it. You said twenty-nine. Yeah, Isaiah twenty-nine and. Isaiah twenty-nine and. And. and Twenty nine and nine started nine. You yeah. want to read it, honey? Or... Me. She don't have it. Yeah, you got it. Twenty nine and nine. Good. Thing. Tell me what you got. Hmm. Isaiah. Isaiah twenty nine and nine. Mm -hmm. Say yourselves and wonder. Mm -hmm. Cry ye out and cry. Mm -hmm. They are drunken, but not with wine. They are drunken, but not with wine. Goes back to those philosophies of the world. That's what our people are drunk with. Keep going. 